So in getting prepared for the winter time, I went ahead and fenced off an area and planted some winter wheat. Uh, this stuff is really hardy. Um, it, it came up without any extra work at all. I just came in, tilled the area, um, cleaned any you know old roots and uh, rocks, and planted and tilled the seed back into the ground. As long as the chickens can't get in here and destroy it, um, you know, let nature take its course. Now this area over here, I planted about six weeks ago. I came in with a tiller and I tilled this really, really well. And this is actually where we have um, one of our compost piles uh, during the spring and the summertime. Um, since then, I've built a big compost bin that we've been putting everything in. And I've been trying to keep the leaves and everything off of it, but um, it came up nice and thick. Uh, it did a lot better than I thought it was going to. This originally is where I had my compost, um, big compost pile. I've since moved that, put that in the garden area, fenced it off and just seeded it really, really well. And uh, yeah, today I'm gonna let the chickens in. One of the great things is these things will come in, they'll retill this entire area and fertilize it. So this is a new feeder that I built. Uh, it's actually got three different compartments inside. I built um, right here underneath this tube which eventually I'll have a pipe where I can fill it from the outside. Um, it's just gravity fed and then it hits two pieces that go like that to actually split the amount of feed that's coming in and have an even amount go to the right hand side and to the left hand side. And this right here is just um, grit that I have available for the chickens. Another new addition that I built is uh, this little calcium box. Um, it's just got some uh, oyster shell calcium supplement. That way if the chickens feel that they need calcium, they'll actually come here and eat this. Livestock in general is pretty good at um, understanding what their body needs. So if they need grit, they can go over there and get grit or find grit when they're out foraging. Um, calcium, they can get it from here. The feed that I give them has calcium in it. so. They probably won't need this, but going into winter time, I just want to make sure that you know any differences in their diet, I'm supplementing it correctly. And chickens need a dust bath, and no matter how nice of a dust bath you build them, they're going to go pretty much wherever they want to go. It's nice. It's a double mulch. Now they'll come in here and they'll till this. Mm -hmm. And before long they won't even be wood chips anymore. This is the turn of compost fertilizing at the same time. If you go through and rake the other boxes, there's almost no wood chips left already. They 
break it down that fast. That's why I'm not too concerned about um, all the leaves in here. Because as they come in here, free ranging around and foraging for things to eat, they're breaking down everything. And they're pooping on everything, so they're fertilizing. 